Almost half of Germans now want Chancellor Angela Merkel to resign. Her coalition government could collapse if she doesn't get the right EU agreement restricting the number of migrants entering Germany. President Trump tweeted that the people of Germany are turning against their leadership over migration. Trump was mocked for also tweeting that Germany's crime rate is up, although official figures show it's at a 30-year low. But violent crime in Germany is up, and it's because of migrants. 1,000 Europeans have now been injured or killed in terrorist attacks involving migrants since 2014. And Germany has been targeted with terror plots more than any other European nation, by a wide margin. The rebellion against the European Union's migrant policy has now spread to Italy. Italy's new interior minister says, if someone in Europe thinks that Italy should continue to be a landing point and a refugee camp, they are mistaken. Four of the immigration rebels, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary and Poland, refused to participate in the EU summit on migration. The rebellion has also spread to the grassroots in Sweden, where one poll shows the anti-immigration Sweden Democrats with a clear lead heading towards September elections, with some asking if Sweden is about to have its Trump moment. Sweden's refugee policy has imported crime, terrorism, and a lot of refugees that experts say are uneducated and unemployable. Swedish security expert Magnus Norell. If you live in Stockholm, uh, in, in certain areas of Stockholm, you, you never see this. You don't have to see this. Uh, but in smaller communities, in smaller cities, you can't avoid it. And that there is where the change will come. And change is coming to a number of nations in Europe. Dale Hurd, CBN News.